There's a lot of people out there who find off-season extremely difficult in comparison to contest prep. Um, they find it very hard to actually push their field and eat the amounts required in order to progress. And they find it difficult to go through off-season with no end date in mind, like a set goal, in comparison to prep where you have that one date where your show is at, that you're working towards every single day. As I'm in the middle of my off seasons as well, I'm gonna go through some tips that may help people improve their off season. First of all, what I would advise is to keep a structure to your day and a routine. Okay, in prep, we eat the same meals at the same time. We train the same time every day. We do cardio the same time every day. This is when people are most motivated and making the most progress. For some reason, when you get out of prep, when it turns to off season, all that structure and routine is eliminated, okay? The most important thing for an off season is to keep that structure as much as you can. It's gonna be a lot easier to keep you motivated and keep you progressing. And one of the main things I find that people struggle with in the off season is getting enough food in in order to grow. If you don't keep structure, you will find it hard to get food in. Okay, you'll see people waking up and not having their first meal till say 12 in the afternoon. If you wake up at 12 in the afternoon, I don't know how you expect to get the amount of food in required for your body to grow. Okay, you may try to get the food in, your meals might be pushed back late, so you could be still eating at one o'clock in the morning eventually, which is going to eat into your sleep and again affects recovery, which in, in off season is the most important factor. So what I would advise is to get that structure nailed down wake up early, get your meals in from the get-go, and then you won't find it hard to get your food in when the meals are structured and you have your daily calories planned out throughout the day. There should be no really excuse to miss meals or not get your calories in if your day is structured like that. Another thing I find helps in the off-season is setting goals in the gym um, in regards to performance, so try and improve your performance. Try and set little numbers, little targets of weights you want to touch each week or each month. And that will be your goal each time you walk into the gym. Try and switch the focus away from a physical goal of appearance and try and aim it towards the little goals of improving performance because that, at the end of the day, is what is going to help you improve, progress and grow between month and show to another. If you don't have these little goals set in the off season, you're gonna find it very hard to stay motivated. You're gonna find yourself skipping training sessions, skipping meals, and this is where people tend to slip up. So if you do set these goals from week to week, month to month, it's gonna keep you much more motivated. You're gonna find yourself going to the gym, going into the gym with a purpose. You're not gonna be slacking, missing sessions, missing meals, and all of a sudden, the next show will come around and you've done what it takes in order to progress and come in better for the next show. Third tip I would have is include variety in your food sources in an off season. Now in prep things can get pretty monotonous, the same carb sources, protein sources every day. In off season we have a little bit more leeway. So say for example carb sources, if you're only in rice and maybe oats for example, you could start implementing things like bagels, cereal, jam, fruit, things that are more satisfying to you maybe, things that you may find more enjoyable to eat. This will prevent you getting bored in the off season. It will prevent you going off plan. It will keep your plan interesting and will keep you eating and sticking to a plan. So yeah, what I would advise is implement different sources of variety in your calories. Um, one thing I find is if you don't kind of implement these, a lot of people will find themselves looking forward to cheat meals in the weekend. They will tend to go way overboard every week, a couple of times a week, just because it's off season and they, they think they can eat what they want. But with these crazy cheat meals, a couple of times a week, fat will accumulate pretty fast. Um, insulin sensitivity will be ruined pretty fast and all of a sudden, you're just gaining fat, you're not gaining muscle, you look like a mess, you're self-conscious, your performance is decreasing in the gym, and you've just cut your off-season short by going out and eating these crazy cheat meals 
every week. Whereas if you include these foods into your daily calories, you're less likely to go and binge with these cheat meals. You're not gonna put on excess fat throughout your off season. You're gonna prolong your off season. Your digestion is going to be great. Your performance is going to be great from not eating all these crazy junk, junk, um, crazy cheat meals. And all around, it's a much better approach than if you were to kind of keep things 100% prep style clean and then go and binge in the weekend because it's just counterproductive and it's gonna cut your off season short. Another thing which people may have some conflicted thoughts with is cardio in the off season. I was never a fan of it before, but this time around, um, I'm a big advocate of it and I've seen the benefits work in my favor. So a big part of it is keeping routine. Like I said, the start structure and routine are very important. So if you can keep cardio implemented, it will keep structure to your day, it will keep you in routine. I find when you eliminate cardio, you kind of feel lazy, sluggish, um, and it's very easy to lose motivation. Um, another reason is because throughout the off season, as we progress on body weight, as we get heavier, obviously it's, it's harder on our CV, our cardiovascular. So, you know, it's tougher to breathe, all this body weight is coming on, and we're not used to it, we're, we have to carry it around with us. So when it comes to off-season training, when you, when you get into these big sets, trying to progress the weights, trying to get stronger, um, so say for example you get the high rep sets, your cardio gives way before your muscle actually does. Does that make sense? So if you are implementing cardio in the off-season, your cardio won't get to a state where that it's given way before the muscle actually does. Okay, so we want to be in a position where when we're in a, in a set, the last thing we're worrying about is our breathing and being able to breathe. The only thing we want to be concentrating on is making sure we take that muscle to complete failure. We don't want that to be cut short by not being able to catch our breath or our fitness being below par. So that's one reason why I find um, cardio in the off season really helps. Another reason is because it will 100% increase your appetite. So anybody struggling in the off season with their foods, appetite is down, they're not a big eater, added cardio in the off season will increase your appetite 100%. So if you are struggling with your foods, add in a little bit of cardio and I guarantee you will be able to eat more. And one final thing is, as well as setting these goals in the gym, like progressively training um, in the off season, it's very important to progressively eat. Although we don't want to accumulate too much fat gain and it to be counterproductive, um, a lot of people are afraid to gain any sort of fat in the off season and try and stay as lean as they can all the way throughout, which isn't a bad thing. It works for some people, but from my experience, if you really want to grow and put on mass, it's inevitable you are going to be required to gain some fat throughout the off season. So don't be afraid of that. You're going to have to progressively eat. Just keep an eye on it. You know, don't eat what you want. Progressively bring your calories up. You know, judge it by your strength, by your body composition. If you're not too fat, push the fuel up and then see how that little change reacts to your body. But yeah, like I said, you have to progressively eat in the off season. If you do want to make them changes between one show to the next, if you don't progressively eat or progressively train, you will go on stage next time looking the same as you did the time before. And I don't know about you, but that is my worst fucking nightmare. So that's the last thing somebody wants. So make sure you're, prog you're progressively trained, you're not afraid to eat in the off season, and you're doing what it takes in order to grow. So yeah, I hope this kind of these little tips help keep people motivated in the off season. Try and implement them, see what you think, and you know, treat off season the same way as you would at contest prep, because if you do, you will really be able to see the people who did and the people who didn't next time you step on stage.